I'm Avon. And I'm Kate. And today we are dishing with you from Mio Restaurant, located at 1110 Vermont Avenue Northwest. And today our guest is Debbie Weiner, the, the author of this great book, Slob Proof, Redesign Solutions. I, I love this because I... Am a slob? No, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people who likes everything in its spot and I want to make sure I have it in the right spot. Well, best of all, if we should have a mishap here during dinner, I've got a few tips to help you clean it up. Let, let's just go right to it then. Tell me the, give me the biggest tip you have for cleaning things up. Color. Color is camouflage. So make sure you have it in your table linens during really? the holidays. Not black? No, color, color, color. Let's really? face it, most of the spots we see on sofas and on carpet, it's red, it's green, it's great soda colored. Sure. If we started decorating according to the spots we see in our own home, we'd have much better camouflage. And as really? a result, we'd probably be taking fewer antidepressants. <laughs> So my rug that uh, has dog pee on it, I seem oh. to put yellow everywhere. Absolutely. You could try putting yellow everywhere, but even another great idea would be to add something with a lot of pattern. The pee would blend right in. I have other spots that are causing me problems that my dog caused. I will mention what they are. Because <laughs> we're eating. We're, we're going to eat. Exactly. But can you imagine a rug with a lot of brown, red, blue, and green spots in it? True. Spots, spots, yeah. blend right in. So really, so it's not the solid. Because I always think of like get a solid yeah. sofa and then use a lot of pillows, pillows that are colorful. And, and you're saying opposite. Do colorful couch, solid I would pillows? definitely consider doing colorful couches. But you know what? I have another answer for you if what you really dream of is a white sofa, a white chair on top of a white oh, yeah, wall. I, like oh, I know, I, I like that. that. I would love that. I'm introducing a new furniture line. It just came out in September. It's called Slob Proof with Krypton. And what makes this furniture line so great today? No, Teflon is just something you apply on the surface. Okay. And like your frying pan, it will wear out over time. What I do is create great streamlined styles in furniture. No big arms that your kids are going to break when they sit on them. And I use fabric that's been protected right down at the fiber level so it never wears out. It's made by a company called Krypton, which coincidentally is the same planet Superman, Superman comes from. from. It has super furniture. Not only is it super furniture, but like Superman, it is so good looking. looking. Nice. It's really well priced. We have a great website at slobproof.com where you can not only see styles, but get tips. How do you choose furniture? When you're paying $9.99 for a sofa, what are you paying for? The beauty is under the cushion, in the spring, in the construction. And the more informed you are, the better choice look, you'll look, make. Look. Is, is, as you ask your question, I want to look at the Krypton. Oh, and yeah. Can I try it out? Oh, by all means. Okay, okay, you can let's see you, no, okay. You, okay, you, this you side. call your book oh, slob-proof. Mm -hmm. okay, well, why do you think Americans, and I'm going to say Americans because I'm not sure about other cultures, but <laughs> why are Americans slob? Why are we slob? Oh, I figured it out. Look at this. Totally up, it'll up. never get wet. I mean, give it something hard. Come on. Are you serious? Absolutely. You're going to pour red wine on her thing? Yeah, oh just don't gosh. get it on my shirt. It is oh, a okay. slob room. <laughs> it is colorful, though. I'm sorry. Keep talking. Keep talking. All right. I'm going to tell you why. It's all about time. Yeah. We don't have enough of it. I'm a busy woman, you're a busy woman, you're just a really good looking guy. But if we tidy all the time, we, we stay a little bit clean all Who's the time. Who's tidying? I'm running out of That's the house true. with beds I made, laundry yeah. all over the floor, dirty dishes in the sink, and when my kids get home before me, what are they doing? They're grabbing food, they're heading for the sofa, mm -hmm. they're playing video games until mom gets home and says, turn that off and start your homework. Where did the dirty shoes go? Where did the dirty dishes go? Where did they wipe their hands? All in the closet. They're all, well, not their hands. That's all over my sofa. <laughs> and that's why we're becoming slobs, because it takes time to take care of your home, and nobody has that time. Yeah. I say, let everyone be a slob. Monday through Friday, let the dirty dishes pile up. It's more important that you get where you're going and your kids are happy. And when you need to clean it up, wouldn't it be great to know it's going to come out? All we need is a napkin. I, we'll okay, you need to napkin. rub that in. I know. You? Well, I didn't really force it in, but I want to think. Oh, whoa, whoa. Ooh. But see, it would be now okay. it's okay. proof. Wow. Totally comes, oh, wow. comes right out. Now, can you imagine this on your furniture, in your tablecloth? 
What that's about that's that shit? And this is, it all comes out. And I love infomercials. I know, I totally. It's like I, I Sham this, Wow. I had, this, I had this dream. But this isn't meant to be what I'm I know. I, know. Well, I had this me. dream where I want to actually do the infomercial. Well, I know. It's totally amazing. It's, it is a little bit like our and dreams come beautiful. true. it's beautiful. Couldn't you see a I, gorgeous dining chair in this fabric? That's amazing. That's so or how about but, a white sofa that would beat up red wine just like this? Tell me more about your ethic. Not your ethics, but your whole sort of mantra of be a slob like for those of us who are a little OCD about things and want things to be in their spots how do we get our slob like husbands I'm just saying to conform to our and find a middle ground there's the key Sonia I started out like you really I was a high-end designer only concerned with how things looked I married a slob he ruined our home and we fought constantly about it as I heard his car come up the driveway I'd race out the door wipe your feet I'd run downstairs if I was laying in bed and I heard him making a snack in the kitchen use a napkin and I couldn't stand it anymore I never got a good night's sleep and additionally we fought constantly I decided being happily married was more important than having a spotless house. I changed. And now everyone's happier. I threw out the Zoloft. Okay, I drink a little more now. <laughs> That's supposed to save your marriage. <laughs> It'll save your mind. <laughs> Wow. Well, um, can you give us, okay, you've given us a couple of tips. You told us about the rug. You told us about this great new material to use. On uh, my slot proof furniture. Yep. What is something that, that people just wouldn't think of that you tell them? White out. When's the last time you bought correction fluid? White out. Now with word school. processing, yeah. right? it's obsolete. And yet, if you came into my house, you would find boxes and boxes of it. When my kids kick off their shoes and throw their backpacks, it dings all my white trim and ruins it. I just pull out my whiteout, walk around the house, I correct filthy grout in my bathroom tile, I correct spots on my white kitchen cabinets, and I get rid of every ding and dent in my white molding. Whiteout is a lifesaver. Additionally, Sharpie permanent ink magic markers. They come in every color under the sun now. I've gotten bleach marks off of black pants, but even better, I've taken oh, care wow. of marks on my colored walls. So you just color on it out. Yeah, can, why worry? And nobody can tell. Well, you know what? Let's say they can tell. We're all aging. We're all showing signs of wear and tear. And until I do a facelift on my walls and my tabletop, it's all right to have a little ding, a little dent, a little line. Look it's a little. little concealer before the facelift. <laughs> I like it. It's makeup before plastic surgery. Well, you've given us some tips, though. We're that are boggling our minds, that are probably boggling the minds of our viewers. But thank you so much My for coming pleasure. on with us. And read Slot Proof to find out so more about how so you can My be a pleasure. slob and it'll be okay. Thanks as always for watching us here on this episode of The District Dish. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and be our fan on Facebook. And thanks again to Nate, who suggested Mio as our restaurant location for this filming. If you have a suggestion, send it to us.